we're entering into post-classical Mexico. So around 600, Teotihuacan sees its power wane. By about 700, it's deserted. And around 900, parts of the Mayan civilization again begin to wane. And these are the southern portions of the Mayan civilization. This is not all of the Mayans. The Zapotec in Oaxaca will also falter around 700, giving way to a group called the Mixtec, M-I-X-T-E-C. El Tajin will also burn around the 12th century. This collapse will give rise to even more warlike people, just as in any other place in the world. When you have a power vacuum where all of the major power bases collapse in, relatively historically speaking, short order, what you get is a rise of new civilizations, and usually a number of them, and then they're going to be fighting it out to see who comes to prominence. In this case, Chichen Itza will dominate the Yucatan, and the Toltec and Mexica will begin their ascendancy in the north. So we're right around 1200, give or take. And we're seeing these new civilizations arise. Chichen Itza on the Yucatan is going to be the focus of what we're dealing with. Now, Chichen Itza is a very interesting civilization. It's primarily Mayan, and you see a lot of architectural experimentation. A lot of things that we haven't seen elsewhere in Mayan civilization. For example, the use of piers and columns. Things that we haven't seen here in Mesoamerica, even though we've seen them quite commonly elsewhere. For example, ancient Greece.